first things first, mm. right? Um, putting putting important things first, essentially. Well, you're putting it first, um, but you're still like when I look at the block of the totality yeah. of what you do with this and that and this and that. It's yeah. I mean, yeah, you get the important things in first, but is it, do you think it makes you being more fit? Does that make you more efficient? in your thought process for scheduling the things too it is can. it kind of a positive feedback loop it, in that regard it can be um it can be in the sense that if it's important to you you will prioritize it and you'll make sure it happens mm. now what you might not see is i will let some other things slip and it's not like i run a perfect schedule between all those things every day there's things that get double booked there's things that i miss all the time but and even sometimes i'll miss a workout right if i've prioritized say recording a podcast for my group and it would overlap, then I just don't work out that day. You know, I just, or I get up and do it before I start my day. Mm. I, I rearrange my schedule to make it work, depending on how important it is for me to hit that workout or, or do the podcast. Um, yeah, I, I guess, I mean, some people aren't good at scheduling and they're very fit. I can, I can think of some really fit people that are just terrible at scheduling, um, but they put getting fit is very important, so they always seem to hit that. Hmm. Um, they, it's just that they will let it at the expense of other things because you can't have something that's really important without having things that aren't right. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> and so there's some things that aren't going to be that important. Yeah. Maybe it's not cleaning your house that day. Maybe it's this other thing. Um, you have to give it, maybe it's traveling, maybe it's seeing family. Maybe it is, um, getting that promotion at work, mm. putting in the extra hours for that. You can't, you, you put in the bare minimum, maybe in some places, and I think some people can be really good husbands and fathers, but be really bad employees and vice versa. Mm -hmm. They can be great employees, but just not have it at home. Yeah. And, and I think a lot of people treat schedules like some form of constraint or a prison. It's, it can be. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think they tyrannize themselves, you know, it's, it's, well, I think they it's like, we punish you know, themselves if they don't hit their yeah. schedule and that's the mistake too. Right? And I think in the scheduling process, if you leave a little, like be realistic with yourself and negotiate with yourself as if you're yeah. two separate people trying to talk each other into doing the good thing. Yeah. Right. It's like, definitely. it's like if you're working with your boss or if you're a boss at work and you're working with an employee, it's like, I need you to come in on Sunday. I don't just say you have to come in on Sunday. Right. I should figure out some way yeah. that we can, we can, what find a way that you'd want to be there on Sunday or at least make it amenable. Yeah. Maybe they would show up as well. It's like you got to come in on Sunday, but I'll, I'll give you there. Monday, Tuesday off. Yeah, yeah. Not something over the top. You don't buy it, but you also say this seems fair and you, you work acknowledge out with, it, but yeah. you got to do it with yourself. You got to say, Hey Chase, what do you think is fair? Well, you know what? I'm going to go, I'm going to work out for three hours. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit and watch TV for another four, just as a, a payoff for it. Yeah, if but, that's what you need to do. And then you just adjust it. Yeah, uh, but I, th I think the idea, and this is why I stayed away from it for so long, was I would build myself such a rigid framework that if it wasn't perfect, then, yep. then not only did I fail and not want to do it again. Mm -hmm. But I didn't get any of it done. Yeah. I didn't leave any room for the human side of me right. to actually grow as a person, really. Yeah, like if the if you were to put your wants and needs into a computer to schedule it for you, it would be very difficult because mm. it would. I guess it would see it as you have these hours, and I can block out each of these hours. And I think that's how we approach scheduling is almost in a robotic computer sense because we see from nine to 10 available. And we think, well, if we fill that, we're being efficient with our time. Yeah. That's how I feel. Yeah. And if we don't hit everything and we had to bleed over, then we're not being efficient. But that, I mean, that's how people, you know, give up on diets. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If they don't hit their meal, then they think the whole day is shot. So they continue to, um, do things that don't help their situation. Yeah. Like, Oh, I already ate.